Hello everyone, it is here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna make a Bob Ross painting again, yes. However, for the first time, I will be actually giving some advices. I am not a professional painter, obviously, or I'm, I'm not an artist. This, I'm doing this for hobby. However, I think I created my own things as well. You know, I googled a lot, checked other YouTube channels, and I have some tips. Thought maybe I can share this information with other people. Maybe it might be useful. So I'm going to be painting this today, and I will be describing. So it's going to be a long video, and hopefully you like it. So let's get going. Okay, first thing first. When we start, when I start painting. Actually, before I start painting, this is the original canvas. I get it from Art Discount um, in the UK, and it's a. I, I think it's very nice quality canvas. Well, now what I do is I kind of mix two gessos. Uh, one of them is a white gesso. The other one is just black gesso. You can see here. I mix them together to create kind of a gray color. Now there are two reasons why I'm doing this. Uh, first of all, um, because um, this is, while I mean this is this is uh, this is a brand new canvas, and it is primed, but it can be better. Uh, so because of that reason, I am actually mixing these colors and then applying a prime with gessos. Now you can ask, why is it not white? The reason is because when we apply uh, the, the white, liquid white, when Bob Ross adds that, as obviously he's a professional, so he knows how much he needs to apply and all that stuff. For me, as an, an amateur, I need to know how much I applied. And if the background color is something other than white, if I'm applying white, liquid white, and then I can actually see how much I'm applying. So you'll see. Now once I apply this to whole canvas, um, then I will apply obviously the liquid white with the painting that I selected. That is made with liquid white, um, I think. So I can see how much liquid white I apply to the, the canvas. So I will be painting this. Now don't worry if one place is grey, the other place is brighter grey or darker. Doesn't really matter. The whole point of this is create a nice surface and evenly coat it and make it darker so it's not white. Uh, I'll quickly speed up this. Um, after this is done, we obviously need to wait until it's dry. Then I will apply liquid white. Um, before I apply liquid white, I will be back. Okay, the canvas is ready. Commons is ready. And I checked uh, actually Bob's uh, painting. And apparently he's using actually two, color, two uh, liquids. Uh, one liquid white and the other one is liquid black actually. So we can apply that. Now the trick in this one <coughs> still applies. Um, we shouldn't put too much of a liquid white. So I do it generally like this. The reason why I'm doing this is because it is actually dividing the painting equally or more equally, rather say. Now the painting doesn't have to be completely black or white. Um, so it, it's like up to a point, to be fair. So this is the easiest way for me to determine how much liquid white I'm putting. Now this is obviously too less. I need to put a lot more. However, I'm making it, you know, equally divided.
I'm also using this um, cheap brush basically to apply liquid white or liquid black. So keep that in mind. Now Bob actually used the uh, black, uh, liquid black down here, so I'm going to be doing the same obviously. After completing this white, liquid white application. This looks pretty even to me, but despite that, I am going to make this dividing like this a bit more so it mix proportionally better, I think, at least. So it's not one place is more than another. Another way actually you can um, determine how much liquid white you put to understand if it's equal or not is by putting your fingers like that and then see how much liquid white in your finger. And if it is same in the another corner, then it's good. If it's not same, try to divide it more. We need liquid white, but if it's too much, it will ruin everything. Okay, I'm actually going to use the same brush with the liquid black. Put it like this. It really doesn't matter too much. Again, I'm not putting too much liquid white, uh, liquid black. That's why I'm making circular movements, so it actually kind of applies to everywhere. And we need this apparently gray area. Bob doesn't explain this part, but he just say basically he did this before he actually start painting. That's why we are doing it as well. Things good, good enough, so I can start painting actually. Now I will be uh, making this painting for the first time as well. So I might make mistakes and or happy little accidents you can say. Uh, but the whole point of this actually is kind of I wanted to show you how I do it because I'm not doing exactly like Bob Ross basically. Obviously he's a professional artist and I'm not. And that's why I thought maybe um, if I show you what I am doing, how I am doing, that could be useful for people like me who is, you know, like new to this. Okay, so let's see what Bob does. 
Okay. Okay, Bob starts with that is in crimson, so here I go. A little bit as well. Not too much. Don't forget. If you don't apply too much to the brush, and if the painting, let's say, is not red enough for you, you can always make it darker. But it is difficult to make the opposite. So if it's too much, you cannot make it less. I mean, you can eventually, but it's very difficult, and it will, it might ruin a lot of things. That's why, just a little bit, tiny bit. Here you go. And if you can see it, there you go. Just a little bit, and I will start applying. And I'm not pressurizing, I'm not pushing it too much. Just a tiny bit of power to make the color, you know, visible. Okay, here is my midnight black and fresh and blue. Um, I will say probably uh, more blue than black, 80 to 20 maybe. Uh, I'm just gonna use the same brush and see what happens basically. Hopefully it wouldn't ruin anything. If it does, I just start over. Nothing is, nothing is ruined. So you can always fix everything. Um, again, like Bob is doing, I'm not going to apply too much, you know, gentle. Okay, time to clean our brush. This is gonna take time, so I'm gonna skip. Okay, I clean the brush. Let's blend the colors a bit. It's hard to see in here, but that's bright, so that's why I keep moving to make myself position better. Because it's too, too shiny in some areas. Okay, I think I'm, I'm happy with this. Blend it nicely. Let's see what's next. Just so you know, I am watching this this episode of Bros from BBC's iPlayer. I will be giving the links in the description so you can watch. Okay, we are mixing now. We're gonna make the mountain, I guess. Um, black, Prussian blue. And a little bit um, what's that? brown. What brown? One night brown. Okay. Now I am doing something different for the mountains. I also ruined my button. Right. I dropped the paint tube into the paint. Right, okay. My cat is coming in. Okay, um, I am doing, yes, something different. Basically, a little bit crimson. I need to see how much he's putting now. Yeah, it's like, if you're putting 80%, um, I would say maybe like 40%, 40%, 10%, 10% and the rest is just, just 10% I think. Or maybe 20 to 30, 30 or something like that. 
I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Um, this is the base of the mountain anyway, so it's, it's okay. Close enough, I think. Now, obviously, our mountain shape, again, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. I'll try to match as much as possible. Some things I might do differently, but um, hopefully it will look good anyway. So, um, as I was saying, I will be showing you how to make the mountains differently um, than ha how Bob Ross does, because I am an, an amateur, um, not a professional, and I can't do how he does. He's pretty good with it, obviously. Um, and I need to improve my technique and I found this method basically from somewhere else on YouTube and with this I think it's easier to make the painting uh, especially removing the excess painting you'll see okay so let's start painting I cut it doesn't really matter how much actually you're taking for the first part this is just the base of the mountain anyway um, so I will start here as well, like this. Well, as much as close as possible, of course. Okay, he's going down. I will go down as well. Okay, let's do it. This is the easiest part, to be fair. Like that. Now mine looking a little bit different, which is good. I don't want exactly the same, anyway. As close as possible, basically. But a little bit different as well. So it's unique. There you go. What else? Mm, okay. He is making another connection with another mountain. Smaller mountain. Rather a hill, I guess. There we go. Same mixture colors. There we go. And then he is kind of finishing like this. Now I'm going to call the painting, throw it a little bit and pulling it a little bit so it's like a more even as much as possible not very important I think at the end of the painting I think this side is covered anyway as far as I can remember uh, yeah maybe like that another hill over here like this there we go I actually selected this painting because of the mountain uh, because I wanted to show you guys how it can be done as an amateur basically Now the imp one, one important part is, you can you can actually see in my painting now. The mountains are ag not exactly straight down. You can see the curves. There are hills going upwards, downwards, a little bit shapey. But for example, this area is not good. So I'm gonna actually change it a little bit to make it more maybe look like a real life mountain, like that. Obviously, it doesn't have to be perfect, but. In real life, mountains aren't that straight, so which affects how it looks. Well, I think this looks pretty good. Hmm. Okay, now I just realized um, I make my mountain too low, actually. But it does it really matter? No, it doesn't. I'm just gonna leave it as is. His mountain around is here. That's why actually I just realized because. 
he actually his pink area is actually staying like around here so that's how I realized it is and then it just zoomed out and I can see clearly mine is below but does it matter not really I already like it anyway so good now what he does is actually and this is the important part is he just scraps the extra, extra, um, extra paint right so we're gonna do that as well so first we do gonna do that let's scrub it all as much as possible done okay now the key part is to start what I do is I got my blue paper over here I got some of that and then I actually start removing the paint this is I always do this for my mountains always I believe when Bob does this some I mean he's, he's somehow he's managing to get rid of all the paint he doesn't want obviously as a professional and I can't do that so there we go another method basically that you can follow just be careful with the the edge areas you know where this, the lines are finishing with the sky really doesn't matter if you sh change the shape as well a little bit the mountain is a mountain you can remove as much as possible I'm gonna get more paper there we go. now I don't like that area I'm gonna fix that in a second there we go. I'm done I think except that part it looks a little bit too straight to me so what I'm going to do is to pull this a little bit like that which will make it a little bit like a kind of a steep hilly thingy over there now obviously when I paint this with the highlights it's gonna be good Is good enough okay what I'm going to do is also follow Bob's steps a bit in here and I'm gonna blend this a bit to have kind of a misty area like this you can do this before actually removing the paint as well doesn't really matter as much you can see now it's much better there you go. Perfect. Love it. I'm assuming now we're gonna start highlighting it. You know what? I just realized another thing. While yes, his mountain is actually higher up a little bit, I think I'm gonna increase the size of mine as well. The reason because is I think well, I like mountains anyway, but um I think it, it, it would look much better if I move this a little bit higher which wouldn't ruin anything and it would look much better something like that there we go 
now maybe this part is a little bit like that. A little bit like that. There we go. I think it's perfect right now. So I'm going to scrub it again. And then remove it. Okay, titanium white time. So we're gonna start highlighting the. <coughs> by the way, the reason why I'm putting my paints by by um, one by one instead of having them in one go is because I don't know how much I'm gonna use. So because of that, I don't want to waste my paints because paints are expensive. So I am putting a little bit here, and if I use it all, I put, and if I need more, I put more. If I don't need more, sometimes I'm actually leaving it, it like this. Uh, I take this tip from Bill Alexander actually, um, to just leave as is, and then I use it for my next next painting. It sometimes it just dries outside, but in, in, inside of it is actually soft again, so I can use the same thing instead of wasting more um, paint. Right. Okay, I take this much of the paint. Absolutely Not much of a paint, a little bit. Very gentle. I am still not perfect with this, but I think it will be good at the end anyway. If the paint gets dirty, just take another new paint apply again and do repeat that's how it works generally see that for example it's kind of mixed colors I'm gonna apply more white on top of that to try to fix it I'm barely touching, barely. Okay, he's covering more of that mountain, so let's do it. More white. He's coming a bit like this way. So he's like, like this. Barely touching again. Barely touching. Maybe a little bit better angle right here. Too bad. I might actually go on this side a bit. We'll see. Hmm. So he actually. Okay, let's do that as well. Um, he's kind of making this mountain come forward a bit with this. Um, a little bit more white. Don't be shy putting, you know, more paint here. It's just important how much you actually apply to that. Um, if you don't press that much then it's actually going to work. 
but be very careful because there, if there is too much paint, you might also screw it. Hmm. Or I'm going to actually do this as well. Okay, not too bad, I think. Now I pressed it though, um, I pushed it because you can see in my blade actually, I don't know if you can see it actually, it's shiny but um, the paint was a bit below so I had to push it to the surface to make it you know come off to the area so if he's doing something like that i've never actually done such a thing before but why not everything has a first i guess there we go i don't like this area that much but i can fix that later on What I'm going to do is continue actually, because he has a different mountain style than me now. So I'm gonna actually highlight this area as well. I think it looks perfect right now. Okay. Okay, so he's mixing basically uh, blue with white to create the shadow color. Let's mix it. I am mixing it over here, you can see. Let's see how much. Blue. He put, he put a bit black as well. So I'm gonna put a little black as well. Okay. Here is the color. I take a little bit of it here, and I'm gonna apply this side now. That's what he does. Okay. Pressed that much. Yeah, I didn't like this area that much. I think it's a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna put a little bit more white in it. This is a cold, snowy paint, but still, it's still blue. It's just a tiny bit of less dark. Actually, kind of moving a little bit to this side as well, but this is al already a little bit dark. I think darker than the rest of the area. That's why he does this. Okay, let's do this part. See, I pushed it too much. I kind of ruined it. But that is okay. Why? Because I can also apply more black to that area to cover it. The mountain mixture. If I apply it, I think it will it will work. I am not sure how I should do that area because his his painting is now different than mine a little bit. Um, that can come like that, I guess. I can even actually cut that area 
something like that. Okay, so since I didn't like what I did in there, we have a few different options. First option is to use dark color on that, which I'm gonna do with that and see if it claims to work. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna scrap that area and then redo it, which isn't a problem because it's a black thing anyway. So if I do this, some areas, it might work. I'm not sure if it's right or not, to be fair. I'm going to apply a darker black, a uh, blue, blue, darker blue color, let's say, shadowy color in there. I don't like that color that much for some reason. I think it worked in that one. I don't know. I might actually even use this color in there too. A bit on top of it. Doesn't matter. It will look good with multiple colors. If you're not happy, just scrub it and do it again. It will work. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I didn't like this part. So I'm going to remove it and then do it again. Um, I didn't like the color. I didn't like how it turns out, no. So I'm going to remove it like this. I'm actually going to remove this white part as well a little bit. Because I don't like that angle. I want something like a bit. Maybe it's. I want a bit closer to his, and his direction is generally like that. So the white, white finishes in there, and then dark comes there. So that is done. Now I'm just gonna, gonna uh, maybe wipe off a little bit excess point, uh, paint, and then um, paint black again, then remove again, and then repeat. There we go. Our mistake is gone. Little accident. Well, as I'm not a professional, I am doing these things. Can happen. But it's easy to fix, especially in these ones. A lot easier than the whole, like if you make a mistake in a bush or something, it's much easier in this one. Okay, let's have our background color again. Let's make it dark. There we go. I will probably come here and make that white. Okay. I also want to watch how much blue and white he is mixing because I didn't like my mixture color. Um, I think he's is a little bit more brighter, but I, I, can't, I can't. It's hard to tell from the video. There we go. Applying my technique again. Now I'm using same blue paper. It's a little bit dangerous because 
it might actually spread things around if you're not very careful. Okay. Good enough. No. Just grab in again and grab it here. There we go. Okay. Now I want white. White. So he does something like this. I will do the same. Okay, I think it's good. Now I'm gonna go back in the video to see how much paint he mix. Okay, this is better. You can see I put a little bit more white in it basically. Nothing special. Now let's try again. This time hopefully I won't ruin it. No, I actually like what I see more, I have to say. Look at this. This looks much better. Much better. That's the thing. If you don't like it, just remove it. And do it again. Not the end of the world. I can say that at some point. Not in this painting, obviously, but... At some point, I actually kind of didn't like the whole painting. Scrub it again, whole thing, repaint again. Yes, it is a waste of painting, true, but if you don't like it, it's your, your painting. You can do whatever you want. Thanks to Bob Ross, I learned that. Amazing human being. Sad that he left too early. Okay, so this part a little bit tricky because the angle of the snow, how it works. So I'm gonna make it like a... Make sure that it's, it's curvy a bit. That's how it works, I think. You know what I mean? Like the blade goes like that, which gives that effect. I wish I have a <coughs> smaller blade which can kind of work in here. That's why I'm using this this side of the blade, uh, you know, the, 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 the tiny part, to make it some areas. Like that. I'm gonna leave that side uh, maybe in a little bit, tiny bit of a dark blue in there. There we go. I think that looks much better now. Here I kind of screwed again, but I can fix that very easily. Not a problem. He's very harsh in there, although if I do that, I think I will <laughs> ruin my painting. <laughs> He's amazing. Okay, a little bit more highlights for dark area. For here, basically. Okay, the top area now, 
Now that is a little bit difficult area, I have to say, because it is small. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to make that. I think I also make the white part a little bit different in there, so that's gonna be. I'm gonna make it like that. Like that. And I'm gonna cover that area a little bit more white, basically, because that's where the sun comes from that. So I made a mistake in there. For the perspective, and let's clean this. Okay, a little bit white, but I take it to the wrong side. So okay, if I take that and put it like that, there we go. Much better now. You see. What I'm fixing is it looks a little bit unnatural to me and now because of the blades marks so I'm just trying to fix that I also didn't like see this this is what I am trying to avoid as well like having a straight perfect straight lines um, that makes the mountain looks unnatural at least to me Okay, I need a little bit more white in there because that looks a little bit dark. That's easier to fix. More white. Right. It's hard to do that, so I'm going to use the smaller part of the blade. Much better, I think. Mm. I might actually use some liquid white in there later on if I don't like it. We'll see. So far, so good. He's, I think he's applying, he doesn't say anything, but I think he's applying a little bit of the uh, highlight dark blue to this area, but very, very small. See that I kind of ruined it already, I think. Um, maybe a little bit more brighter. I didn't like that at all. So, let's make it like this. I am mixing white with blue, making it a lot brighter blue to cover that up. Yeah, there we go. I think it looks good now. more like an ice color I think yeah see looks much better I think I like it more icy color to be fair so it's more giving I think it's giving more um, snowy color snow effect yeah this is much better, I like it. Okay. Right here now, let's do the side again. Painting a little bit brighter color. And maybe also here. And then I'm gonna cover that up like that with the dark color. I think this is good. Um, maybe cover a little bit this side, tiny bit. Tiny bit. Be careful not to ruin it. There we go. I love it. Okay. Now, dark color again. I need to clean my blade. Okay. 
Okay. Remember, you don't have to make everything like he does. He is a professional. And, you know, he obviously can make everything very easily. I mean, he's painting in 25 minutes. Uh, the fastest I can paint is three hours. So, you, you just do your, your thing. There's no, nothing wrong with reinventing some of the things. Especially this is a hobby, you know. I'm going to create uh, another color in there, tiny bit of a white into that blue, so it's brighter, um, to, to kind of have third color in there, especially in these areas, maybe like a little bit brighter, you know what I mean? cover this again on the bit white because I don't like that color in there but I think this looks much better now at least this part and we have a little bit more darker white tiny bit and then I apply a little bit to this side as well tiny bit not too much be careful not to press too much if you press too much you might ruin it this is, I think it looks good now. Okay, so he actually pulls that to the front. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. I was going to actually remove this white part, but what he does is actually covers the whole thing. So he does like, like that. area I don't have background in here that's why it doesn't look good although he doesn't have either that much at least it's an interesting painting this is kind of pulling the whole painting front or mountain front as well so he does okay hmm. Okay. He's actually pulling it almost to the side. Like this. Go back again. A bit more actually. Okay, so a bit more 
Nice look. Blue color. This has it more. Hmm. Okay, so he's applying brush in there. So uh, I'm gonna stop in there because I need to fix this. I don't think it looks that good at the moment. I made mistake of uh, you can see the blade marks everywhere. Um, so I need to fix that. <laughs> he, he he does with partial breaking color in there. Mm. Okay. Something like that, which goes down, basically. I need to see what's happening in there actually. So let's see. Hmm. Right. So this area will be covered up until here-ish. I can actually do this a bit more. And here will be more misty. Something like that. Uh, this side doesn't matter because it will be covered up until here. Okay. But this side is, well, this part here, after here will be kind of a chunk in there. So it's gonna be like that, okay. Okay, I think it looks good. Um, so he does, what he does? Okay, he says clean dry brush. I have only one brush. So I need to clean this. Okay, I think it looks okay. This area looks a bit weird, but that is like a distance anyway. He's making an evergreen tree. No, I'm okay with evergreens. I think I can do not a bad version. My problematic part is, I think, the bushes. I'm very bad with bushes, generally. We'll see. He's using the same mountain color. Same mountain color, which isn't much for me. I need to mix probably again, but that's okay because I can mix more. There we go. A little bit comes in. I'm just mixing to make more same color. As I told you, that I don't actually have lots of paint in my palette because I don't want to waste so there we go okay now that's done let's get a brush mm, that is actually making more as well I'm just taking it to my brush I think I'm gonna more, me needing more paint but at least I'm gonna start with that So around here, okay. With the 
corner. Now I do this and then I actually do more later on because I'm not 100% sure how much he's going to put in there. It's easy to, to make less and then put more later on if you want. We'll definitely be make it more pushier, let's say. Or, no, not push here. What do you say? Another run over here. Okay, maybe I made it a little bit too left, so I'm gonna put more, I'm gonna have to put more trees over here as well. Another one over here. Let's go to the corner. Now, this not, that doesn't look good, obviously. I will be doing a lot more than that in a second. I'm just trying to understand the the, um, the scale of it. That's the thing. So I go here. Now I can see, okay, this is good, actually. Okay, yeah, this is good. I can make it like this and go that. Okay, good. Now, what I'm going to do is I mix more. I'm going to use all my black, more brown, more resin crimson to, to generate more, create more mixture. Once this is done, I'm going to make those trees look, look better. But they look a bit naked right now, isn't it? This is my first time, by the way, painting and talking at the same time. Never done this before. Um, okay, hmm. so this looks good. Um, I'm gonna use this side. Just adding more. As you see, it become more like a actual grown up tree, I think. I think this doesn't look that bad. Mm. I'm gonna take a little bit back because I need to see what he's doing there. Because um, he's doing something else. He actually started highlighting already. Okay, first thing I realize is he's making it more uh, darker and busier. I don't know how to say, what do you say, crowder? Crowder. This is going to make it, I think, better. Because that's what he does. More dark color over here. Okay. There we go. Mm, looks good, I think. He actually adds bushes as well. Hmm. 
Actually, I'm not good with pushes, especially doing like this. Mm. I need to make a. There you go. It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Pushes. Obviously. Come on. Okay, liquid white. So I have a liquid white in here. I'm gonna shake this again. Now let's put this a little bit over here. And we're gonna highlight it. So you need thinner paint. That's why we're using using the other color. Liquid white is doing that job. And yes, every piece of me is now paint. Okay, so he mixed kind of the highlight color for the mountains with liquid white. But I think a little bit darker than what I have in here. So let's see how much he's making. Oh yeah, it is a lot more darker actually. Okay. Mm, I think his is more darker. However, I actually like my color over here. See, this is the color. And I think I like it anyway. Um, so let's do it so now what he does actually is a little bit different than mine I think I will I, will, I mean he is actually using the same method uh, but he's obviously good at it so <laughs> I am not so I will be be very gentle where I am touching with the, the with my corner of it you know with the brush but I think I'm gonna need to clean here yeah more of a paint because this paint is definitely not enough therefore it's not coming off a bit better plus it doesn't have to be actually perfectly right but I'm gonna add a little bit more blue to be honest because I'm out of blue okay so get blue white Yeah, this is the color I'm talking about. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah. There we go. Not too bad. Maybe a little bit more brighter. Be careful where you're putting these because um, you wouldn't want to press too much if you do it or make it like this, just top it basically. Otherwise it might screw things off, which kind of did for me. No. I think I need to work on my on my tree as well, tree skill. I like doing normal trees more than these ones. I actually like that one. Hmm. Now comes the tricky part. You are highlighting the bushes differently, especially like this. 
which is very weird to me. This one, it doesn't look good. He's literally doing this. How much am I doing this? Okay. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad, I guess. This is my first time doing this, by the way. I never done this before like this. I generally highlight it differently a bit. more titanium white okay let's get another palette because this palette is full okay empty let's get white and there's my white right here okay this much white is enough i think you can see this much Okay, so we're gonna create a snowy effect. I think it looks great at the moment. I need more more white he says it's darker he wants darker but I think my white wasn't enough anyway beginning of it so I add more white It's mixing with the liquid black actually, so it's making it darker. As in, I think, I'm not sure if it is white enough. Here, and his painting is a lot whiter than mine. However, I think, let me see. I mean, he's putting a different stuff in here anyway, so he's just kind of mixing it up. Yeah, okay. Hmm. This part doesn't really matter, even here, it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna make it whiter a bit, definitely. And I'm gonna clean my brush because I touched the liquid black. And then I'm gonna apply more white to the top area. A bit more. I think it looks good. However, I think it will look better if I can highlight this area a bit more. Now let's dry it. This is how I'm drying it with blue paper. It's cheap. So I'm using it a lot. I'm squeezing like this so it's extra, um, extra thinner is gone and it's clean okay good next more white 
and I'm going to be repeating the same process over here like that good I think it's a lot better now I still like it a little bit more that thing, but now much better. I like it more, I think. Okay, next. Where will we? Here. Okay. So we're gonna do a house. Simple. Let's see. He's doing it like over here. Maybe here? Doesn't have to be the same. There we go, okay, now I have a clearer view with what he's doing, okay. A little bit more. There we go. And bigger. Okay. Something like this. Brown or like brown. As he is doing. And have here. No. Okay, so he does this angle a, a bit more. There we go. And then we have that triangle part. Another triangle part over here. Okay, there we go, I think it already looks good, can be a bit better though, well, I believe, let's see, yeah, I'm gonna pull this a little bit down, and then this will be down, so, why, because I want angle, perspective, see that, see that, like this and that line up just in a way like this angle hmm. right so he is doing now um, hmm. um, getting one like brown I think mixing it with Taxiana, okay. I'm mixing one like brown, Taxiana, plus some white. There we go. Okay. Yep, good. I take it, you can see over here, this is the color. Taxiana, one like brown, white, mixed it. Now it's gonna highlight the, the entrance of it I guess yeah like this is gonna be difficult though barely okay barely touching like he says Bam. that's the difficult part barely touching okay just barely touch there we go Okay, we mix another, I guess, mixture. 
to make it a bit more darker for the other side although I think his is a bit too much dark so I'm gonna put a little bit more especially considering the light coming from the left there we go for here yeah good very good I like it Okay, I need a little bit back. Well, he's doing different. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit liquid white here. Tiny bit of brown in it. Now, this is gonna be my highlights for the door. I don't know what he put it exactly. He said brown, but like, I don't know. It doesn't look exactly brown. And I need this to make it look good. So. More tiny bit of a liquid white, a little bit of brown. There you go. I actually mixed it with dark sienna, the mixture that I made, yeah. and then I'm taking it like a left cut. Um, here, I'll show you like that, like this. Um, yeah. So the paint actually comes you know, to the plate. There we go. Good enough for me. <coughs> okay. taking clear white so I'm scrubbing the excess paint over here this is the mixed in there with the dirty color let's say and that is the, the, the clean white basically so a little bit more white over here that kind of ruined things a little bit even more okay I might actually use liquid white on there actually going to use liquid white because it looks dirty to me and I don't like that okay this is too much right. okay So he's having some white, but I have dirty brush, unfortunately, so I have to clean. So he is doing that kind of thing in there, which is going to spread the brown. Yeah. Okay. Kind of a bravery test, I guess. So it's going to be like this.
Prussian blue, tiny bit, just a little bit to have this effect. I think I took it too much, so I'm going to cover it with white a bit, but it's going to blend anyway as well. You can see actually it blended, yeah. Okay, let's make some windows as well. Okay, and then will this work? Let's see. Did okay, good. So now. Fresh and blue. All right, our mixture. Uh, damn, I need a clean. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Mountain mixture, basically. So he's making a huge tree, tree somewhere over here, up until over here, I think. Yeah, it seems like over here. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. I'm gonna need definitely more paint. Uh, it doesn't work at the moment, as you can see, because I don't have more paint. Let's, let's get more paint. Um, black, where's my black? <laughs> it's nearly the end of the whole painting, I think. Okay, so again. Uh, it's a big tree. Oh. Okay. And we need to make some friends for it. Okay, there we go. And then another one over here. But I need more paint. Here we go. Just topping. Topping, topping, topping. And obviously I didn't make that straight, but I guess it doesn't matter because in real life the, the trees are not exactly straight anyway. Okay, hmm, he's making an angle one. So, like this. There we go. Hmm. Okay. I was trying to make a tutorial for it for this, you know, this video is supposed to be that, but it's kind of tutorial for myself as well because I never done this before. All that. He's doing something very weird. Okay. So he's like, like that. He's doing something like this, basically. Okay. 
Doesn't look bad. Okay. It is difficult to do, really. <sighs> I can't, I have to say, I really hate that tree. I'm gonna need to fix that eventually. This looks better now. I think we should are supposed to be like using the corner of the brush and press it. Can't say it's I don't know. I think it looks better than previously. At least it looks somehow like three. So I guess I selected a very interesting painting. Just because I like the mountain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's not exactly like his, but it doesn't have to be. Basically, I don't know if I'm good with branching, but 
I definitely like doing so. At this point I'm just following his instructions to be fair. I mean, I was following his instructions all along, but here is more what he says. <coughs> Might actually apply test that a bit more. So also here a bit. Cure this effect. Because I don't like that brush marks in there. I also don't like the this part as well actually for some reason. It looks unnatural. I also think I don't like it because of the color is like blue color, but it's okay. In this okay. Okay. Okay, highlighting time. Titanium white with blue. I am actually making it with liquid white because I don't think titanium white will make it in there. Um, I don't also know if this is gonna work because it's not much of a paint I have. In this worst case scenario, I'm gonna recreate the paint. Okay. Right, okay. Oh, okay. Can it be better? Yes. Does it have to be? Hmm. I don't know really. I think it works. At the moment. You don't even want that much anyway. Okay. I'm actually going to make more because he has more as well, and I think it looks good. Right over here. I think I painted my face. Um, maybe the highlights. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. 
Oh, there's a gate as well. I think it doesn't look bad. No. I think this is more blue, but I don't really care that much about that. I think it looks good anyway. Mm. Back to white again. No, I didn't clean my brush. Hopefully this should work anyway. Um, so what's he doing is, let's see. Yeah, okay. So he's just like putting here and then pulling it. So what he like? What's he doing in there? Did he make a cave kind of? I think I also did it like this. Like that. Oh, much better. There we go. Right, got it. He's doing something like this. I don't know what is this. You're about to see. Uh, he's making water. Um, okay, let's see. I think I need more blue. I don't think it looks bad. There's some blue effect in here. That's what he does. Maybe a bit white. In my painting, it's a little bit more grayer, so it's colder, but it is what it is. I think I like it, um, it's good. Mm. I can make it a little bit more blue to make it here and now as well.
Brush. Let's continue. Again, I'm doing kind of differently than how he does, but if it works, it works. Right, now highlighting colors again. Um, a little bit back, I need to see. Okay, so he's doing this again. To be fair, I think it looks okay. It looks okay. You just press it with, with this side, like that, like from the corner, so that like that, and it, it, I think it works. Pretty nice. Okay, another tree comes. Oh, that's a big tree. That is a big tree. Okay. Look at that. Huge. <laughs> okay. You can see my brush is kind of, I don't know, splitting the, the part, which is kind of ruining the painting sometimes, but yeah, it is what it is, at least at the moment. Need to add more branches, I think. Only one in here. There we go. And maybe over here, another one. Okay, that is too thick for my test, but. Divided and connect it like this, which kind of changes everything. Okay, 
friend. No tree should be alone. We are all together. Everybody needs a friend. Okay. The painting is over. Let's sign it. As well, I'm going to sign the different side though because I think that's more emptier over there. There we go. We are done. Finally. Well, thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'll be answering. I hope you like it and I'll see you next time.